I'm gonna show you how you can record videos using DSLRs like this Canon M50 that I'm using right now or your mobile phones and then also recording audio using external microphones like this blue Yeti that I'm using with your MacBook and then stitching it all together on iMovie so that you can edit really nice crisp videos with really nice audio. Let's go. My name is Rob Balasavis. I am a content creator and I create tutorial content for other content creators. I know it's very meta. I'm also a dad, a husband, been. We live out here in Vancouver, Canada. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. I hope you find this channel helpful. And if you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell as well. And let's get into this tutorial. All right, first, so let's talk gear. You'll need a way to record your videos. And so for me, I am using a Canon M50 with an 11 to 22 millimeter lens. At the moment, I also have a Rode external mic that's attached to the top of the camera. But because of my home studio setup, I prefer to use an external microphone that's connected to my MacBook and record directly from there. I'm also using a SwitchPod, which is a really cool product. I got it free from Vid Summit last year. And if I'm not using the SwitchPod, I'm here at the studio. I'll also use a lightweight tripod that you can just get anywhere from, you know, Amazon or Best Buy. And then you need to record your sound. As far as audio, I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone like this one right here. Actually, it is this one right here. And I've got it attached via USB to my MacBook. Air. Now, as far as recording, I'm recording the video, obviously, on the Canon M50 on an SD card. And then the audio is being recorded on my MacBook through QuickTime, which I'll show you in a second. From my MacBook, I usually transfer and make a copy onto my external hard drive right here. All right, so now let's start recording. So the first thing I'll do is I'll actually set up my camera, make sure that the focus is right, that the angle is right, that my background is good. And then I just press record on my camera. That video is now recording. The next thing that I'll do is I'll open up QuickTime on my MacBook, create a new audio recording. The next thing is really important is select the Blue Yeti and make sure that that is the microphone that QuickTime is using to record. Once that is all done, I click record on QuickTime and so now my audio is recording. So now I've got both video and audio recording at the same time. Now to make my life easier when I am stitching both the audio and the video files together on iMovie in a second, what I will do is then clap really loud twice. What that does is it gives me two visual spikes on the audio clip that I can then line up between the video file and then the audio file that I can then line up together and then stitch that together. I'll show you that in a second. You'll see what I mean. So now that I'm done recording, I'll export both files into iMovie. I'll look for those two claps. I'll then test for echoes and I'll listen really carefully to echoes. And if there is an echo in the audio when I play it, then that means that the two audio files are not lined up quite right yet. Once the audio is totally lined up and it sounds really nice, what I'll then do is I'll turn the volume down on the audio file from the camera. That leaves me with the audio file from the Yeti and then also the video file from the camera. The audio file and the video file are all lined up. It looks nice, sounds nice. There is though one more step before I can start editing this video. And this step is very important because it'll make my life a lot easier. So you'll find that the way that the file is right now, when I split a clip, it doesn't split both the video and the audio file at the same time, at the same place. So what I have to do as a fix is I have to actually export the file as it is right now. I'll export it just like I was exporting the final cut of that video. And so I'll export it to the very highest resolution that I can. Once that file has been exported, I can now take that file and put it back into iMovie and start post editing. And there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, any comments, any suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Just say hi in the comments. I always just want to know who is watching my videos. And before that next video starts playing, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.